So, that Mountain Life YouTube channel recently posted a video that got close to 150,000 views, which is double the amount of subscribers they have. For some reason, you guys are really liking cute family adventure skiing videos, but I also think this is because of the video editing strategy and choices we made. How did we keep the viewer engaged and watching and make them click on the video in the first place? And even 68 days in, we still have a pretty decent click-through rate and still getting more and more of the daily views. Me being the video editor of this video, I want to break down some of the creative and editing choice I made throughout the process. For people to watch this video in the first place, they need to click on this video first. And there are three things that contribute to it. Idea, title, and thumbnail. Since this is the video editing breakdown video, I don't really want to spend a lot of time diving deep into that, but let me just give you a brief summary of choices we made. At the end of the day, no matter how astonishing your video editing skills are, if the idea of the video sucks, this video most likely will not do really well. Luckily, I was dealing with a banger idea here. A little girl skiing progression from age 1 to age 5, like, it's great. How many one-year-olds you know that are zooming through the mountains like a wind? And that's exactly the point that we want to emphasize when we're designing the title of the video. Skiing since age 1, mountain girl's adventure. Least to say, it's pretty catchy. And last but not least, least, the third point when it comes to packaging, it's a thumbnail. And here, we just decided to go with what works on YouTube. People love contrast and compare videos. They look at those thumbnails, they see how much is changing from left picture to right picture, and they want to see the process that led to this change. And same vibe we try to recreate here. We have Arya, that's the name of the girl, when she was one year old, and then when she's five year old. And when you look at the one year old picture, she looks a little like, you know, not really confident in her skiing abilities. And then when you look at five year old, she's like literally zooming through the mountain, right? So people would like to see how did she progress that much. I think this thumbnail was a success and it still results in 7.5% click-through rate 68 days in after the posting. Now, as we get this part down, let's move to the editing. All right, let's say we earn the viewer's click. Now we need to reassure them they made the right decision. And it all starts at the beginning of the video. And there were two ways I could start this video. One of the ways was Eric, which is Adia's dad, talking to the camera and introducing the context of the video. And the second way to start this video, the one that we actually chose, was to meet viewers' expectations when they click on a thumbnail. They see the thumbnail and they expect this video to be about little skiing girls. So why just not to give them that? I can do this, Daddy! Because I got stronger. Yeah, because how much stronger are you? A lot stronger? Yeah. Hey, it's Adia. How's it going? How are you guys doing? Good. Nice to meet you, Adia. Finally. <laughs> you got new skis on summer? And I also find this intro to be a perfect fit because of that last moment. Hey, it's Adia. How's it going? Hey, how are you guys doing? Good. Nice to meet you, Adia. Finally. <laughs> Did you catch that? Adia is being recognized by the stranger that kind of highlights the importance of her persona and that she's famous on the mountain. And people who are watching this video, they all of a sudden are asking themselves, why is this little girl so famous? Why are strangers recognizing her? What's so special about her? So they want to keep watching the video. And finally, after that little clip of Arya, I'm introducing her dad and telling the viewer what the video is going to be about. All three of our kids had to ski shortly before they could walk. Why? Because I'm a dad who loves skiing and I wanted to share the gift of the mountain with my kids as early as possible. But as you see, the tempo and the vibe are now completely different. Our attention span on internet is record low, meaning if someone clicks on your video, they immediately, like from the start, they're looking for excuses to click on something else. That being said, changing a tempo in your videos is a huge game changer. So instead of just doing slow, 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 or just go, 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 Try to change the tempo, maybe go slow, then speed it up, and then go slow again. That's kind of exactly what we did right here. We started slow with introducing Adia to the world, then we went to the fast-paced action shots of the family skiing and the dead voice over at the end, and now as we move into the first chapter, we're gonna go slow again. As far as the structure of video goes, we didn't want to jump from year 5 to year 4 to year 1 to year 2. We wanted to present everything chronologically and as expected. And there is another retention trick why we're doing it this way. Basically, people seeing how clumsy and, you know, unconfident Arya was when she was just one year old, and they want to see how good she became when she's gonna be five years old. 
That being said, if we immediately gonna show them how good she is when she's five, they can just click off the video because they already saw all the interesting stuff. Therefore, we put the end of the progression at the end of the video to just keep the people watching and wondering how good she's gonna become when she's five. And as you watch this video, I made big noticeable transition between ages one, two, three, four, five, just to make it easy to follow for the viewer. And to make it even more clearer, every eight chapter starts with your dad announcing how old Adia is right now, and that just basically makes it easier to follow for the viewer. Adia is still very much a baby. At age three, Adia continued gaining miles on the slope. At age four, I'm still prioritizing having- But there was another challenging part to this video. Eric, your dad and the content creator behind the channel, he has a digital product that he wanted to promote in this video. So how do we promote this product without breaking the story and losing the viewer? I thought we can use the best and proven tactics from the television and regular TV shows on how to do it. You know when you're watching the show, everything comes to the most important moment, like literally seconds before the most important moment, it's about to happen and then you have an ad break. And you just have no choice but to sit through this ad break because you want to see what happens after. So that's exactly what we did here. Idea's biggest progression happened between year 3 to 4 and 5. So if we still have people in the video who are watching till she's 3, they're curious to see how she's gonna ski when she's 4 and when she's 5. And that's exactly where we inserted the part of Eric talking about his digital product, between years 3 3 and 4 when she made the biggest progression. Since viewers who are still watching the video want to see how good Adia is at year 4 and year 5, they're kinda agreeing, yeah let's see the ad so then we can see how good she becomes. And last but not least, I just want to bring to your attention few of the details that can be unnoticeable at first, but I think they made a big difference in this video. First of all, our captions at the beginning. I mean, it's hard to understand Aria sometimes, but there's another reason why we put those captions there. YouTube has a preview feature now, when you don't even need to click on this video, but you can just scroll through a feed and kind of preview the first few seconds of the video. The thing is, it plays the video without the sound, so we put some of the captions to kind of explain what's going on and still let the people know that it's a good video and there's, you know, a lot of content to this video and they should watch it. The second thing that contributed to the success of this video is transitioning from music moments to no music moments. Basically, you don't want to put music over the entire length of your video because there's a power in silence. Silence helps to highlight some of the moments, especially when you have music over everything else. When there's no music, you're kind of changing the tempo in people's head and that's exactly what we mentioned at the beginning changing the tempo to keep the people watching. So some of the moments like skiing highlights, they had the music, but then there were some dialogues that we didn't want to put any music over the top of it. And last thing, it's a split between B-rolls and A-rolls. We still have some A-rolls of Eric, your dad, explaining what's going on, giving some context to the video, etc, etc. But the majority of the stuff, even when Eric was talking in the voiceover, we used B-rolls because we wanted to showcase Aria. This video is about her, she's a star of the show, so we wanted to meet people's expectations and and show her as much as possible, while her dad was still explaining some stuff as a voiceover. I hope I was able to explain pretty in detail some of the creative and editing choices we made. I post a lot of content about video editing, so if you want to level up your creative game, make sure to like this video if you found it valuable, subscribe to the channel, it will help me tremendously, and you will hopefully become a better editor, and I'll see you in the next one.